There you go. Thank you. So, how was your New Year's Eve, Mom? Oh, it was lovely. I think it's good for me hanging around Catherine and Murphy. They keep me laughing. And Jill has not been around. Oh, that's the bonus mm -hmm. for sure. How about you and Billy? Did you enjoy the holiday? Uh, yeah, yeah. We just, you know, we were... We were, we were low-key, and we just sort of hung out here. Well, after the year you've had, I'm sure you're looking for a little peace and quiet. Honey, what is it? There's something wrong. What? What is it? Mom, I, I went to go see my doctor to find out how likely it is that I would be able to have a baby, and... Okay, so how does this work exactly? Before I answer any of your questions about the adoption, I'm going to need you to take off your shirt. Excuse me? You heard me. This is a funny way to do business. It's a family operation. We've kept it going for generations, and I want that to continue. Good for you, but what the hell does that have to do with me taking off my shirt? I know the business you are in. You run a magazine that exposes scandalous behavior. So prove to me you're not wearing a wire or this conversation is over. I know a cup of hot cocoa isn't going to make you feel better. But... Thanks, Mom. It's just that, uh, you know, when I was pregnant, I thought that maybe she would be a little girl and and that we would be close, like you and me. I know, I know I have a nephew and I have nieces and I have a stepdaughter and it's really nice, you know, when they're all here and when Reed's here. Uh, when they're gone, the, the house is just so, so quiet here, so... <sighs> Can you talk to Billy about it? Yes, Mom. He's really sweet, and... and he's trying so hard to make me feel better, and I... I love that, but I know he's not telling me how he feels. And I know that he's gonna be disappointed because he was really excited about experiencing a new baby. He missed all that with Delia. He, he just, he didn't get to, to be a part of that. And I know he's gonna miss that in his life, Mom. Well, you might not be ready to think about this yet, and that's fine, but there are different routes to parenthood. You don't have to take the traditional path. I mean, you and Billy rarely do, right? It's just something for you to think about. Are you happy now? Now we can speak freely. I assume you have questions about documentation. Yeah, let's start there. We provide a birth certificate that looks identical to one you'd get from the state. Whose names are on it? Yours and your wife's. That's traditional with any adoption. Okay, uh, well, will there be a record anywhere of the real parents? No. Well, what if the birth parents change their mind? I guarantee that won't happen. <laughs> you guarantee? How could you guarantee? I mean... Or are they dead or something? Where are you getting these kids? The women who seek us out come from all walks of life. Teenagers who want to go to college, women focused on their careers, or are ending relationships. There's a whole host of reasons someone might not be ready to make a lifetime commitment to a child. The adoptive couples we work with are much like you and your wife. Take charge people who are ready to love a baby now, who don't want to waste time dealing with red tape and who value their privacy. 
We definitely value our privacy. You can rely on us to be discreet. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how you put this. Uh, what do you charge? It's a very unique service we provide. It doesn't come cheaply. Hmm? Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to need to take a little time and think about this, and I'll be... What happened to you being in a hurry? I was under the impression you were serious okay, about it. Relax, I am. Okay, I was. Well, I am. But look, hey, look, it's a big decision. You're wasting right? my time. I'm not wasting your time. It's a big decision. I just need to think about it. I will call you out. Look, I'll call I you out. I have other people waiting. I'll call you, okay? Hello, ladies. Hi. <clears throat> Happy New Year. Well, same to you. Is anybody else hungry? I'm starving. Could you stay? I mean, we could put something together. Oh, no, I, I can't. I gotta go, but I could come back tomorrow. Okay. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. Oh! Here, right. um, I'll help you with your coat. Nice coat. Thank you. Ma'am? Ma'am? Hi. Thank you for taking care of her. I'll show myself up. Bye. Bye. That's good you got a chance to visit. Yeah, well, I got the message you were gonna be late. Yeah. Were you working? No. Um, I, I met up with Rafe. We caught up. He's in love again. Oh, that's good. Good, yeah. good for him. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I really am hungry. Do we have any of that pizza left? I'm starving. Do you want a piece? You okay? Yeah. Why? You're quiet. I know when something's bothering you. Things aren't really working out the way that we planned. No one would blame you if you were, you know, if you were disappointed. No, I'm not disappointed. Maybe a little dissatisfied. See, that's what I thought. No, no, you misunderstand. That's me. I'm always dissatisfied, you know. I always want more, you know, more fun, <laughs> more challenges, more everything. More children? I can't give you that. It will happen. Okay, we'll be parents again. I can't promise you that. I can. Hmm. Clarity on costs. So, you are interested? Depends. Two million dollars. What? Cash. This is ridiculous. We are both business people, Mr. Abbott, familiar with the law of supply and demand. As I said, mine is a unique service, and I have other couples waiting. Are you coming to bed? <clears throat> you have 24 hours to make your decision. Who's on the phone? That wrong number. <laughs> <laughs>